What is up guys? It's Ozzy here. If you guys have been following The Flash, you know the season finale was just a few days ago and I want to post my review of that. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this season was truly amazing. Like it improved so much upon the first season uh, and it was, in my opinion, just really, really good. Like I absolutely loved almost every episode of this season and Honestly, this was my favorite kind of TV show during the winter and spring uh, season. And uh, yeah, so the first thing I want to talk about is how be huh, how much better the story was this season. Like, I don't know if you guys really paid attention, but there was a lot and a lot of plot out, plot based things to this story. Like, every time you kind of knew something, it would just change. And uh, I just really, really liked where, throughout the whole season kind of guessing who Zoom is and then guessing who the man in the metal mask is. And it just, it keeps me and probably the whole entire audience that watches this show really intrigued into the show each and every week. And it was just so awesome. And you know you love a show when the like mid-season finale slash break happens and you just miss that show so much you're constantly going on see when it's on and that just showed how much i love this season some cool characters that they added into the season and the first one i want to talk about is king shark now personally i never really thought of this villain as being anything as like big as he actually was in this show uh, I saw him in the Arkham Asylum uh, animated movie, and uh, I thought he was alright, but seeing him in a live action like TV show, I think they did really, really good on the animation for the shark. Uh, I think he looked really, really good, like a big brooding shark man, like it was really awesome to watch on screen. Um, and personally, I just thought he was a really great villain. Uh, really basic concept, just kind of mixed an animal with a guy, and it turned out really, really good. Uh, the next character I want to talk about is some new Flash characters, which I'm sure they will be speedsters, most likely in the next season. Like, we've already seen uh, these two characters get hit by the particle accelerator, and we know that they're possible metahumans now. So the first thing I want to talk about is Wally. Um, I really, really like this character. Like, him coming in with his mom dying and just meeting his dad and his sister for the first time, and he's just kind of, uh, I would say kind of bad kid, but doing the bad things for good reasons. That would be, like, racing and taking cars and stuff, but at the same time, he's selling those cars to pay for his mom's medical bills. So it was a really touching story for him. And how much he can, he had uh, kind of like a fandom of the Flash, and then realizing it's this guy that he's met a bunch of times. So I thought that was really cool, and I really hope they make him into into a speedster next season because that'd be just awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. Except I think it'd be really cool if uh, they gave him the silver suit. So as you can see, it looks really really awesome, like silver and red. That looks super awesome. And I hope they give him that one. But at the same time, I can see them giving him the yellow suit as, like, Kid Flash. But at the same time, I think it would be cool if... Because we know they have um, the Reverse Flash's suit still. So I think it would be really cool if they just kind of made some adjustments to that suit but made him wear it. I think that would be kind of cool. Leave a comment below what you think about that. But I think that's a possible way they could give him a suit. Uh, since it's yellow already and uh yeah so overall wally was just an amazing character and i just can't wait until he starts running with barry and it's just gonna be awesome uh the next character is jesse quick so this is harrison wells's daughter from earth 2 and we see her get hit by the particle accelerator and uh when barry touches her we see like a little lightning bolt get absorbed into her kind of thing and I'm assuming that probably means she has speedster capabilities but she doesn't really know yet uh, but yeah she's another really cool character that they're gonna add into season three hopefully hopefully she gets her speed on like earth two or something and runs back to earth one and I don't know it's just gonna be such an awesome thing seeing all these other speedsters on screen with Barry 
Uh, it's going to be really, really awesome. But I really liked her character, too. Um, the next character I want to talk about is Supergirl, which they had the crossover episode, which, in my opinion, it was pretty good. Like, from the Supergirl episode, it was really good. And then they didn't really talk about it too much in The Flash, which was kind of disappointing. But it was really great to see, uh, other than Arrow, like, Flash teaming up with someone else. I thought that was really, really awesome. I loved that episode. Um, and another thing I want to talk about for some new characters is the doppelgangers of our characters from Earth 1 and uh, them appearing on Earth 2. So you see, like, Barry was, like, some kind of nerd without any powers. We see Joe isn't in the police force. He's a singer. We see Iris as the kind of head person at the police department. Uh, we didn't see Wally, though, which, personally, I thought they might have made him a Flash on Earth 2, but... Yeah, I'm glad they didn't because that means he can be a Flash on Earth 1 now. Um, we saw another, this one was probably one of my favorites, uh, Cisco. We saw him as uh, Reverb on Earth 2. And then we saw Caitlyn's doppelganger, which was another villain called Killer Frost. And that was really, really cool to see our like good characters and their bad sides, basically. Um, another major, major character that uh, came out in Season 2 is the Golden Age Flash, Henry Allen, or Jay Garrick. They're kind of the same person, kind of not. But that was really, really cool how they did that. So that might be hinting towards, like, Justice Society on his Earth, which is Earth 3. Um, and now it is time for the villain. So this season's villain was Zoom. And he's basically a reverse Flash, like the second one, except they changed his suit to be kind of different from the reverse Flash from season one. And they made it uh, black, and it looked really, really kind of scary. And he had blue lightning because of how fast he was going. And I really, really like this character. Like, this guy was menacing. Like, we see a lot of villains in shows. They never actually, like, do anything that bad. Like... 90% of the time, I would say they don't even kill anybody, but this guy, he's going out, he's killing a bunch of cops, he almost kills the Flash, uh, he kills Barry's dad, he threatens to kill all of Team Flash and Joe, and, I don't know, he's just such a menacing guy, like, I just loved his character, because he truly showed what a villain is supposed to be. It was such a great story, like, having him being Hunter Zolomon, and then... I don't know, stealing the identity of Jay Garrick, making a time remnant, and appearing as a good guy, but then he's actually a bad guy. It was just, it was really, really good. I, and I loved, loved this villain. And it's going to be even greater because now we know that he's probably going to come back maybe next season or a few seasons down the road as the Black Flash, which that's going to be truly awesome. Like, when I saw his lightning bolt turn red and his suit was turning, like, really black and and uh, his mask and face was becoming almost like dead, dead, I don't know. It was just so awesome because I know that character's coming back and it's going to be awesome. Obviously, it wasn't a perfect season. Uh, there were a couple things, in my opinion, that could have been better. And the first thing would probably be the Zoom story being a little bit confusing, like... Uh, like, the time remnant thing, that's a little confusing. I, I mostly understand it, but it's still a little fuzzy to me. Um, so, yeah, that was really the only kind of bad thing I would say about the season. And then another thing isn't really to do with the story. It's more of a visual thing. It's when, I don't know, you guys probably noticed this, but when the Flash is running and he's fighting someone at, like, the same speed or doing something fast, and it goes to, like, a close-up of his face. You can clearly tell it's animated, and it's not really, like, good animation. It literally looks like it's from, like, a cartoon or something uh, a lot of the times, but obviously they can fix that with a bigger budget, or it doesn't really bother me that much. It's just something, like... I don't know, you take away from the reality of the show a little bit when you do those close-up sh uh, shots. But uh, other than that, this season was amazing. Like, I don't know, this was just one of my favorite, favorite seasons of all time of a TV show because of how comic booky it was. Like, it's truly stuck to the comic book, like, origin and 
uh, history. Like, it didn't change a lot of things. Like, besides giving, like, the Speed Force a conscience and, like, saying that it's, like, living and stuff. Other than that, it was pretty much bang on to the comics, which I really, really liked. Now I'm going to give my rating of this season. So I'm going to give this season of The Flash, season two, an A. And this is because it was so intriguing. It had so many awesome storylines, so many plot holes. Uh, and it was just so, so good. Like every week I was so excited when this show would uh, come onto the screen. And it was just awesome. Like. Wow. I've never been really this excited for a TV show uh, other than The Flash. And I don't know, it just really, like before The Flash came on TV, I would say The Flash wasn't even in my top five like superheroes, but literally he's my second now after Batman. And that truly says a lot because this show really made me, made me love The Flash. And I just love Grant Gustin as uh, the lead actor. Uh, this guy, like, he shows so much emotion. Like, when Henry died, or when his mom dies, like, all those scenes that have to do with death, and he starts crying, like, I can truly feel the emotion. Like, a lot of shows, you can't, but for some reason, like, he's such a great actor. I just love him as the Flash, and hopefully in the movies, like, the DCU... Uh, I'm really hoping Ezra Miller can replicate that, if not even do better, who knows. Um, but it's going to be really hard to top this guy. Like, he's really good at the Flash. So leave a comment below of what you guys thought about this season. Are you excited for Season 3? Do you have any kind of thoughts about Season 3? Like me, I think it's going to be uh, a Flashpoint Paradox kind of story because we know he ran back in time and saved his mom. And I think he saved his dad too. I don't know if his dad died. I'm a little fuzzy because I saw Henry get thrown to the floor, but I'm not too, too sure. I'm pretty sure they're both alive, but correct me if I'm wrong. But this could change everything. Like, this could literally change the entire beginning of Season 3, and I just can't wait for it. So, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more, guys.